Hey, it's Doug with Backcountry Pilgrim. Today we are talking about trowels. All right, so this is my trowel showdown. I went ahead and collected all of the trowels that I have from my kits, and I took them out into the wilderness to try them out. I've collected some data on them so that you can get an idea of what's out there. We're going to begin with the Dirt Digglers from Hilltop Pack slash Apex Giant. So this is actually two different trowels, two different sizes that I have. They are custom printable, which is pretty cool, so you don't mix up your trowel with somebody else's. Let's see how they do. The large size Dirt Diggler runs $26 and weighs one ounce. The small size is $22 and weighs 0.6 ounces. The large comes in at eight inches by two and a half inch wide. The small is six and a half inches by two inches wide. Both have markings on them, so you see how deep your hole should be. The nice thing about these is that these edges are not sharp at all. I can put a lot of pressure on there. It's not gonna hurt me. This isn't gonna cut through a backpack, and no flex at all. Aluminum, very strong in the hand. This does not push into the flesh. It wraps around it, so you've got a nice solid grip here. You can push hard. And I'm stabbing the dirt with no concern about hurting my hand. If I want to go a little lighter, you still have the same kind of grip. It does stop at the flesh, but again, this isn't going to cut in to me. No serrated edge, usually not super useful, so that is not something I am concerned about losing. The safety factor is worth it. I'm tearing through here this little nose just tears through the dirt. Both of the Dirt Digglers by Apex Giant, quite good. Next, I'm gonna look at the Stansport Prospecting Hand Trowel. Coming in at $8, the Stansport Prowl weighs four ounces, and it is 11 by three and a quarter inches. Okay, so comfort rating. This thing is pretty amazing. It's got a good thumb grip, got a back of the finger here. You're not gonna hurt yourself if you push into the guard. It does have measurements on it. it. Does a pretty decent job of cutting. Getting into the rock, nothing to do. No trial's gonna get through that. Good solid digging. Pretty nice, not too light. Okay, next I've got a new piece of gear that just came out recently. This is the Packed Ultralight Bathroom Kit. Doesn't look much like a trowel. That's because you actually take it apart, and inside of this trowel are the decomposition pellets and the wet wipe tabs that you can use for their obvious reason. The entire kit runs $35. When filled with wet wipes and the tablets runs four ounces, but the trowel by itself is 1.3 ounces. It is eight and a half inches long by 1.75 inches wide. Let's have a look at the trowel itself. I've used this before in a previous video. I already know this thing is just absolutely bomber. Look at that. I could almost bury <laughs> this trowel in one shot. It's extremely strong, cuts extremely well, and it is not gonna hurt you too much as far as weight goes. This thing is awesome. And because the ultralight version is combined with the pellets and wipes that you need for a good bathroom experience, that is a fantastic little package. All right, sticking with our cottage company theme, this is the Bogler Company Ultra Lightweight Backpacking Trowel. This runs $18 and weighs only one half of an ounce. It is seven and a quarter inches long and two and a quarter inches wide. Now this one is much more comfortable in the hand and because it has this plastic piece and this rounded edge, that does not feel too bad. I can actually push on that. Good striking, good solid feel. So that is a big step up from the UST. You got a little bit of a serrated edge there if you're gonna try to cut through a branch. Not super comfortable, but I don't feel like I'm as in danger of hurting myself. These little holes give nice little grips. Not the widest. Now it's a pretty small hole. It's gonna take me longer. It flexes about the same, but because it comes to this thinner handle, this feels a lot stronger. 
Last, I have the UST You Dig It. This is an $11 trowel that comes in at only one half of an ounce. It is 6.8 inches long and 2.4 inches wide. Super light, not comfortable. Those edges are fairly sharp. So are these corners. You have to be very careful with the way you hold this. It's also quite flexible. Like right now, I'm already stabbing myself in the hand. I can kind of hold it like this maybe to get the duff out of the way. Now it does slice pretty good. That's gonna cut right through dirt. But again, if you need any forward pressure, it's very hard to get the grip because this thing is just sticking right here in the hand. That flesh is what's keeping this thing pointed in. I don't like that. In fact, I'm just gonna stop now. So this thing is very uncomfortable. <laughs> it's not something I would wanna have free floating in my pack because this edge is gonna cut through things. Um, it'd be nice to dangle on the outside maybe, but I can't get any good pressure going down into the hard dirt without risking cutting myself. All right, so what are my thoughts on these trowels? I've gone ahead and ranked them by several different criteria, including comfort, safety of storage, which is referring to how likely it is to damage your gear if you carry it in a backpack or a ditty bag or something like that, as well as just general function. I've compared these metrics with the weight and the price, and I've come up with a somewhat subjective system of ranking the ones that I own. Just to cut to the chase, the Hilltop Pack slash Apex Giant Small Dirt Diggler is the one that tops the list. I find that overall for comfort, function, safety, price, and weight, this is the best of all of the worlds. It's not necessarily the best at any one of them, but I find that the combination of features here makes this the best one. Now, I ranked the large version of the Dirt Diggler fifth because the extra weight and the extra cost to me just isn't worth it because it doesn't really function a whole lot better than the small. However, if you are going to be in an area where you've really got to dig through some difficult stuff, this would be worth the upgrade. It might surprise you that second place goes to this strange looking thing here. Um, if you are used to ultralight backpacking trowels, you probably would never even consider bringing what looks like a garden trowel with you. However, it actually got the top ranking in several different metrics. The basic problem with it is simply that it is big and it's heavy. So while I probably wouldn't recommend this for backpacking, especially if you're trying to go ultra light or even just lightweight, it is actually one of the best trowels I own. Coming in third is the Packed Ultralight Trowel. Again, the trowel itself is quite good. It's super comfortable. And the fact that it can be used to hold some of your other kit just makes it a great trowel to throw in a day pack or something. It's a little heavy with all of the extra elements added, but if you're gonna be bringing those anyway, this is a much better way to do it. So this actually comes in third for me. In fourth place, but a great trowel, is the Bogler Company Ultralight Trowel. If you are just going for the lightest weight, best cost, most comfortable trowel, this one is excellent. And like Hilltop Packs and Packed, this is supporting the cottage industry and not just sending money over to China. Coming in last place, and really the only trowel that I can say I just didn't like, is the UST You Dig It. The only metric that this trowel did well in is the weight category, but there are other trowels that are its equal without any of its shortcomings. Honestly, I just don't see any reason to own a trowel like this. Now, you might wonder why I didn't look at the Deuce of Spades. The basic reason is I don't have one. The Tent Lab Deuce of Spades is a very popular lightweight trowel. It runs about $20 and weighs 0.6 ounces. It is 6.8 by 2.5 inches. As near as I can tell, the UST You Dig It is basically a cheap ripoff of the Tent Lab Deuce of Spades number two. Again, I've never used one of those, but I have to think that given that so many of the features, including the materials, are the same, they probably aren't that much different. But if you think that my assessment of this trowel does not match that of the Deuce of Spades, let me know in the comments below because I'd like to hear if it is significantly different. Maybe I'll pick one up and check it out. I hope this video has been helpful to you. If it has, give it a like, subscribe, click that bell if you are into hiking, camping, backpacking, and the gear that goes with it so YouTube will let you know the next time I put a video out. Finally, and as always, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.